because you're, it looks wacky, right? It's like, oh my gosh, what, what, what are they having us do? But you're just going to do it. You're just going to follow it down the rabbit hole, right? So they want the determinants of a minus lambda i to equal zero. So let's just figure out what a minus lambda i is, right? So a is 3, negative 2, 1, 6. And if we subtract lambda times i, and they tell us i is the identity matrix. We're assuming the identity matrix for a 2 by 2 matrix, because that's the only way you'd be able to do. So there's your identity matrix. So we've got lambda, sorry, a minus lambda i. And so let's just figure out what this is. Uh, this lambda we can distribute to each one in there. So it'll be minus lambda, 0, 0, lambda. Just multiply each piece by lambda. And this piece here is just chilling. And then to combine two matrices, just subtract their component parts. So 3 minus lambda and 1 minus 0 is 1. Negative 2 minus 0 is negative 2. Uh, that's a 6 minus lambda is 6 minus lambda. So that's a minus uh, lambda i. And they want the determinants of this. So the determinants of this, uh, they want that to equal 0. So let's, we know how to find a determinant, it's weird as it looks. You multiply times that, subtract that diagonal. So 3 minus lambda times 6 minus lambda uh, minus 1 times negative 2 should be 0. So it's an equation. There's one unknown. We're good. So just keep going. Uh, foil this out. 18 minus 3 lambda minus 6 lambda plus lambda squared plus 2 equals 0. So lambda squared minus 9 lambda, God, so draw lambdas, uh, 18 plus 2 is 20, equals 0, we'll factor that, lambda minus 5 times lambda minus 4 equals 0, so lambda could equal 5 or 4. So both of them are perfectly valid values for lambda, and the only one that's listed in the multiple choice there is that 5, so that's your answer. Ta-da!